Hey everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. On this video, we're getting a gold medal on the mission, a kind and benevolent despot. And this one starts with Dutch right here. Now, if you are going for 100% on your compendium, you will need to hunt down all seven of the unique animals in this area before starting this mission. As soon as you start this mission, you'll be put into a chain of missions that will result in you leaving the island and never being able to return. So if you're going for that 100%, find those animals now. I will show you where they are. Luckily, you don't need them for any trophies. So even the trophies that say skin every animal in the game, stuff like that, it does not count the animals on this island. So you can just ignore these animals if you want and you can still get your platinum trophy. But if you're like me and you'd still like to get it completed, I will show you the animals that you need. So uh, there's going to be three different types of macaw. There's going to be a bird called a red-footed booby. And then there's three types of snakes that you'll need to pick up. The snakes are likely going to be the ones that will give you problems. There's only one spot I've found. Well, technically two spots where they spawn. And they are pretty rare. They don't always show up there. Whereas the macaws, if you just come down to the river, you'll likely find some. And there's one right there. Although he's, wow, he took off. Is that a macaw? Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> he was flying really quick. All right, so anyways, if you just follow the river, you'll probably find some. In fact, there's one who is completely oblivious to me right there. And there's another right there. Maybe I can get both of them. All right, so they're both studied. And uh, that one flew off. And if I shoot him there, I won't be able to recover the corpse. Oh, but I can get his friend right here. Gotcha. Oh, and the other one flew off. I didn't even notice. Oh, wait. Is that a green one? Oh, and there's another one. I might get all three macaws right here. All right. So study him. He's flying away, but that's okay. We can get him. Got him. And then there's the third one. Perfect. All right. Macaws are done. Like I said, easy. The scarlet macaw is native to Guarma. The herbivorous diet includes fruits, seeds, plants, nuts, and leaves. A bow with small game arrows is the most effective way to hunt these birds. Macaw feathers can be used for crafting, and their exotic bird meat can be used for cooking. Alright. Oh, and also, just keep an eye on the sky. The red-footed boobies only fly, and that actually might be one right there. Ah, uh, I got the wrong angle. Dang it. I hope that's not one because I can't get it most likely. Oh, well, that's a seagull. A herring gull. I haven't seen those before. And there's a laughing gull. I don't think we have a red-footed booby up there. Unless that's one. Nope, that's a herring. this away and pluck the great green macaws main habitat is guarma as herbivores their diet consists of fruits seeds plants nuts and leaves a bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best way to hunt these colorful birds macaw feathers can be used for crafting and their exotic bird meat can be used for cooking Right, and then we have this one over here. Oh, and our uh, auto save there. Blue and yellow macaws can be found across across Guarma. As herbivores, their diet includes fruits, seeds, plants, nuts, and leaves, and the rest of that is the same as the others. All right, now let me show you where these snakes are. So uh, the easiest spot to find them is basically right here at the base of this E, but they can also rarely be found in this general area. But this is pretty much gonna be your spot right here. Some fallen logs, 
it's hard to miss. And like I said, they are not always there. Hopefully there's one there now. All right, so these logs right here and bad luck, no snake. That sucks, especially since I already got all the macaws. They're probably gonna be massively stubborn. All right, so that really leaves us only one thing to do and that is hunt down the red-footed booby. We could also get an iguana. They're not unique to here, but they're kind of everywhere, so we may as well pick one of those up. Oh, in fact, there's one right here, so make sure you study it. Don't forget to track it, and then you can go ahead and kill it. Need to do the same thing with the snakes. Oh, and I missed. All right. Green iguanas are native to Guarma, primarily herbivores. They feed on plants, leaves, fruit, and flowers. Occasionally, they will eat eggs, leaf-dwelling insects, and snails. The varmint rifle is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill an iguana. Their herptile meat is edible, and their skin can be used for crafting. Okay, so... Any... Birds that look like the one I need. Not seeing any. I would say no. Now one thing that seems to help is to move as far away from those snakes as possible, which would be over here. Um, just don't go too far, because you'll see those red areas. Once you enter those red areas, you're uh, highly likely to be attacked. And uh, one of the guys that might attack you is this, as far as I can tell, invisible sniper. And he'll just straight up kill you. You can't hide anywhere. Once he's on you, you are pretty much screwed. All right, do we see any birds? Mm, some over there, they seem to be going the wrong direction though. Now climbing on rocks does seem to help um, because these birds are typically just out of study range. So getting on a rock can get you just high enough to study sometimes. Alright, well, I'm not too worried about the bird at this point. I'm more worried about those snakes, because, like I said, they can be a pain. So, let's see if there is a snake there now. There is not. Ugh. Why, snakes? I guess we can go over here. We can check this general area. Like I said, sometimes a snake can spawn here. Now one thing to be aware of, there are three unique snakes on this island, but there's a fourth that is not unique that can spawn as well. It's called the Ferdelance. So if you get that one, that does not count towards the three that you need. It's just a, a bonus. So, like I said, snakes around this area are pretty rare and I'm not seeing any now. All right, well, back to looking for our bird. Like I said, let me go ahead and climb this rock. It might help. Oh, I picked a bad spot. Let's try over here. Wow, there's not many birds right now. At all. Where are they? Huh. Well, I guess we can check on the snake again. Unlikely that it spawned, but you never know. Right 
here, I believe. Do I have the wrong spot? Oh, no, over here. And still no snake. There's a piggy, but I don't need him. But yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with these birds. Typically, there are lots of birds flying around, but right now there's just nothing. Maybe it's because of the, the scary looking clouds. Maybe it's the time of day, I don't know. Hasn't been a problem before. Freaking nothing other than whatever that is. That hey! Rude! Did do anything to you. Oh, wait. Oh, that might be it. Oh, is it flying away from me or towards me? It's hard to tell. Crap, I think it's going away from me. Oh, that sucks. Wait, what are you? That's a goal. Ah, oh, man, I think I found it, but it was going away. Well, that was bad luck. What about you guys? Seagulls. Heron. Heron. Potential? Nope. That's a heron. Or a pelican. Well, dang it. Terrible luck. Alright, well, you know what would make it up to me? If there was a nice snake hanging out by the logs. That would make everything better. And there is. Awesome. That is a sun glow sna Oh, crap. Ah, I'm so lucky I missed there. I forgot to track it. That would have sucked so badly. Luckily, I missed the shot and then I tracked, so we're good. Make sure to skin it as well. Thank you for being a bad aim, Arthur. Totally not me. Okay, Sun Glow Boa Snake. The Sun Glow Boa is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on rodents, lizards, birds, amphibians. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a snake, without causing too much damage to the skin. Their skin can be used for crafting, and their stringy meat can be consumed. Alright, now this is probably superstition, but it does seem to help when I take the corpses away, and then just dump them in the, in the river so they leave the area completely probably doesn't actually do anything but I'm gonna pretend it does in my small sample size it has worked so why not I'm still not seeing a whole lot of birds I do not like that I see some birds over there. I have a good sense as to what they are. Pelican. Oh, bird. Oh, that looks like a seagull, though. Probably a seagull I don't have. Go over here. Get a better angle. Oh, but what are you guys? Herons. I seem to have lost it. Oh, crap. That's a bird I don't have. Is that the one? 
Well, that's that's not it. That's a seagull. Those could be it, but it's too far away now. That one had potential. They're usually not this hard to find. My bad luck just needs to end. Alright. Right now, red-footed booby. Where are you? Is that you? Well, that might actually pee. Uh, it's hard to tell. Maybe not. Why does it seem like all the birds are spawning and moving away from me instantly? Like, none of them are going across the river. Like they normally do. All right, we got a few here. Red, ringed goal. Here's some, poten oh, potential. That's it, that's it. Oh, he might be in the wrong place though. Oh, I can't get over there. Reddish egret. Well, that sucks, but at least I got him studied. That's sometimes the hardest part. If I can just find another and shoot it down. We might be okay. Alright, well, we got one studied. Wait, what's that? Reddish egret. We got one studied, so... I think the hard part is done. Oh crap, they're after me! Get out of there! They're on to me. Alright, well, while I'm over here, let's check on the snakes. Into the snake den, and... No, just an iguana. Alright, well, the snakes are clearly going to be a problem. And hopefully, the red-footed boobies won't be. What are you guys? Looks like herons. They are herons. What about you? Bird in the back. What are you? Are you... No, a goal. I don't want a goal. about you? You look a little suspicious off there by yourself. Oh, I had it for a second. That's a heron. How about that one? Oh, I had it for a second, but couldn't quite read it. Egret. Oh, I think that's that reddish egret I saw way back. Way back when. What about you two? Oh, there we go. Oh my God, I can't shoot that angle. Got him. All right. We are done with this bird. The red-footed booby is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on small fish and squid. The most effective weapon to kill or wound a small bird is a bow with small game arrows. Their gamey meat can be used for cooking and their feathers can be used for crafting. All right, uh, so let's go check on the snakes. Whoa, calm it down there, Mr. Boar. Let's go check on the snakes one more time. If they're not there, I'll just go ahead and reload my game. Sometimes that works. Um, but they're clearly just not cooperating. Which is not all that unusual, to be honest. The snakes are a huge pain. Um, although before I do that, let me check this area over here just to make sure there's not one slithering around. I'm 
I'm not seeing anything. That pig seems to be angry with me, but... He'll never catch me! Oh, yes, yes he will. Why are you such a jerk? Oh, he got me all muddy! Oh, you suck, Mr. Pig. Alright, well, anyways, we're not finding any snakes. They're stubborn. So, we're gonna reload the game. I'm not gonna show you the whole process of me reloading over and over again. We will just skip forward to finding one of these snakes. And uh, also, I'm not sure when the auto saves occur. So, uh, I recommend before restarting to just go ahead and give yourself a manual save. Just in case it decides to wipe your progress on the compendium. Alright, the reload did work. I had to do it two times because I got the same snake I already had the first time. And we got a red-tailed boa. It's been studied and tracked and killed. The red boa is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on rodents, lizards, birds, amphibians. A bow with small game arrows is considered to be the best weapon to wound or kill a snake, without causing too much damage to the skin. The skin can be used for crafting, and their stringy meat can be consumed. Alright, so we just need one more snake. I believe it's a rainbow boa. Pretty sure that's correct. So we'll reload the game and hopefully get that. Alright, and it looks like that might be our final snake we need. It is. Awesome. Rainbow Boa. Make sure to track and shoot it. The rainbow boa is native to Guarma. As carnivores, they prey on rodents, lizards, birds, amphibians. And that ending description is exactly the same as the others. All right, so that is all of the unique animals to this area. And now we can head over to our mission and get our gold medal. Took a little bit longer than expected, but it wasn't too bad. Hello, macaws. Hello, dead bird. You stay away from me, boar. I know what you're up to. spoke of and also a guide she's up ahead I think we can trust her follow me the entrance is along here just watch your foot here so uh, what do we do when we get Javier well uh, gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Get everybody together. And get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead gather everyone and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected an insect bite you or something because you gone friend we look like what we are a bunch of desperados on the run 
But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through the caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is the bottom of the sea. Exactly. <laughs> you know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten, poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I, quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? That must have taken days to organize. Maybe there's a maggot in the apple. Puede callarse ya, estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> oh, that's it. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? Ah. What are you doing? Ah. Jesus. Easy, ah. Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <sighs> You're gonna 
gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso me fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos, carajo! ¡Se lo quiero! ¡Vamos, They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. All right, we got to take the one on the right. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Go, Dutch. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Well, you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof. We will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Right. That couldn't have felt good. Now we need to create a diversion. Uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. You got any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> All right, over here. Close the shutters. Create enough dust. This place is gold. And release the valve. Okay. We are nearly there. Wait for 
for me. I'll get this going. Sounds good. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. All right, we have to get Javier out of here in two minutes or less, which means killing lots of enemies and clearing the way. We'll also need to get ten headshots. Why am I suddenly so wobbly? Alright, screw it. Dead eye. I'm gonna go faster than this. There we go. Not worried about headshots. Getting low on dead eye. That's not gonna help. All right, we should be good. We can go this way. All right, he's gonna wrap around this way. Get away from me. He's gonna catch up. We're just gonna keep clearing a path. We're going, we're going. All right, well, headshots definitely getting taken care of. Shit, Let's keep up with Dutch. After us. Arthur, you got them. Let's go. Don't fall behind. We can lose them in the fields. Come on, Dutch. Somehow hit that shot. Go Dutch, you're so slow. You're only carrying a human. No big deal. Oh crap, right behind. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. This will give us a chance to get to Hell Fool's Court. I'll meet you there. All right. We should have managed the two minutes there, so now we just need to finish the mission. And if by some miracle I haven't gotten the headshots yet, I should any moment. That's not feeling good. Ow. Go. Where are you? Stop shooting me. Where's the last one at? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, and there's actually one other one. Ah. Go and dead.
All right, and that leads us into our next mission, which we'll be doing on the next video. Let's just make sure we got that gold medal. So if we go to story, we're at 56% completion, chapter five, and there we go, gold medal. A kind and benevolent despot. With the help of a local, Gloria, Dutch and Arthur infiltrate Fusar's compound to rescue Javier. We got Javier to safety in under two minutes, and we got ten headshots. Alright, and with that, we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.